All right, we're team 1712. We're going to show you how to, without any precision machining, line up and cut your holes or mark out your holes to be cut for your Versa chassis frame. So we have our drawing of where we want our holes that we cut it up. I already have my calipers preset to the distance from the edge, in this case, three and a half inches. So I'm going to lay out my piece of Versa chassis, take my calipers, I'm going to line it up with the factory edge of the Versa chassis, apply pressure, and scribe a line. Three and a half inches from the edge in our case. So we have our line scribed here. The next thing I'm going to do is take, we have a set of transfer punches here. Um, real cheap, Harbor Freight anywhere. Pretty great. We got ours from McMaster. I'm going to take my half inch transfer punch. I have one of my Versa blocks, and in that I have a half inch uh, Versa bearing, round bearing. And I fit it so the transfer punch fits right in there. I'm going to line it up with that, whole, with that line I described. Slide it on top. Just for a little dumb precision first, I'm going to slide it back and forth just to get a, a cross mark right on the piece. But then when I'm ready to actually transfer punch it, I line it up with that cross mark I just drew. Slide, make sure I still have the Versa block on top to keep it square. Take my mallet, one hard, firm blow, and I have a line scribed in there. So the next thing I'm going to do, because it's too far away from my calipers for my middle hole, is I'm going to line up my tape measure. I know my distance that I want is 15 inches. I'm going to take a scribe, right at the 15 inch mark, roll down the tape measure, and make a nice careful line right there. Slide up my tape measure again, make another line. Nice thing is VEX does have these pre-scribed lines which help you measure. When I want to cross over, I'm gonna take my square, line it up with those lines that is scribed off the tape measure, create one scribe line myself down the length of the piece. So I now have a nice cross through that center scribe line. Go back to my transfer punch set. Grab my cross in there, line it up, slide my Versa bearing on top, one nice firm blow with the mallet. So I have two there. So the nice thing about these two holes, are these the ones that we're using our Versa blocks on? So they don't need to be particularly precise because we're going to have oversized holes so we can slide our Versa block back and forth with our cam for our chain. The last hole is the one that we're going to use. We're using a West Coast Products transmission. So we have to use this output block. The nice thing that makes it easy, um, so this has to be precision, or it has to be the right size, you can't slide this. So it'd be hard to transfer this onto there. The nice easy way to do it, because it matches the geometry of reversal block. You see here, their holes line up nice and easy. I don't know if I have it radially aligned very well that you can see, but we can actually use the Versa block to make this. So unlike the last ones where I didn't really care what was the top and the bottom of my Versa block, I do need to know if I want this aligned uh, off which direction, because there's a 16th inch or 16th inch offset for your drop center on your Versa blocks. So I'm just gonna quickly check uh, which is which. Um, I believe it's loosen my calipers here. So this edge is a little under 0.7. This edge is considerably shorter. So if we want the bottom, I want it facing down like this. Yep. But first I need to describe that three and a half inch line again. So I'm going to take my calipers back to three and a half inches. This three and a half inch mark is purely to our robot. Make sure you set your own dimensions for where you want the centers of your wheels to be. Line up down here. This one's not the factory edge. It's a little bit harder. Scribe across the center. Take this so I can line it up with that scribe mark in the dropped configuration. Alright, so if I line it up like this, the center of the hole will be slightly closer to what's going to be the bottom of our piece on this side. I'm going to scribe out my mark here, line up with the cross, slide this on top. Bend out my transfer punch. Now the next two holes is where we really get to abuse the geometry of this and take an advantage. 
So now taking the transfer punch from my side holes that we got to drill. Slide this off. Transfer punch. Line it all back up again real quick. Take it over to this hole. Transfer punch. That's how you mark up a piece of Versa frame without any precision machining.